Hi there, it's Leslie here, Hungry Heffy Crafts. Um, today's card is these cute little craft heart cards that can stand up all by themselves. Um, I managed to pick up a set of heart metal dies and these are actually from X-Cut. I've been looking for a long time to pick up some heart shaped dies because I wanted to make cards like this for some special people. And um, I thought I would make a card in craft card stock. So first of all I'm starting off by running the the die through my cuddle bug with some craft card stock underneath them. It's going to be the basis of my card. So I need two pieces, two panels of the hearts, one for the front of the card and one for the back of the card. So let's run this through again. And now here I have the other piece as well. Now I already know and I've sketched out what my design will be and uh, I'm going to have a smaller heart, use one of the smaller hearts in the set to create a smaller white panel to be mounted on the front of my craft piece. So let's run that through as well. There we go. And I also know I'm going to cut out a sentiment with using the die, but I'm going to be using my new cracked pistachio distress ink. It just arrived last week and I love this little guy. This is probably my favorite distress color. So I'm using my inking tool and the foam pad to pick up some of the ink and gently move it around. I'm not worrying too much because I'm going to be cutting out um, a sentiment from this green sort of teal colored piece of inked paper or inked card really. And so I'm not really bothered about too many lines. You'll not see it whenever I'm cutting out a fine greeting from it. But I'm building up some of the color so it will pop, this teal color will pop against the white background of the little heart. So let's take this now and um, I'm going to be using a metal die from Simon Says Stamps and it's this sending die. I've had my eye on this one for a long time so finally came and I'm going to cut it out using the, the cracked pistachio and it's going to sit on top of this little guy and um, some of my some of these hearts when I they cut out they had a little bit of a rough edge and um, I guess at the bit the edges were flaking off a little so I'm using the edge of an acrylic block to gently rub away any of those little little taily bits of um, paper or card little fragments of paper and that smooths out the edge So here I've got my base of my card, the two craft pieces, and I'm going to be assembling the card now. First thing I'm going to do is to create a crease in one of these love hearts. So I'm going to have make this card a top folding card. So I'm trying to keep my love heart straight. I've, I've lined up the two top bumps of my heart against that middle line there and then I'm going to gently push it forward so the two top parts line up with the top edge of my ruler so then I know that it is actually straight. I'm going to lift the flap and use a bone folder to create a crease along the groove in my trimmer where normally the blade would go but I'm just using my bone folder here to create a crease along this section here. I want to make sure it's good and creased because this is going to be um, where my card will open. Now what I'm also going to do is turn that heart upside down and um, once again the trick is to try and make sure that your heart is actually straight on there. You can't line it up on the left hand side because the heart is bumpy so I'm using a rectangular piece at the bottom to line up against the left hand side so it's straight and then using it a bit like a T-square to line up my two bumps of my heart against the bottom of that piece of card. And now what I can do is trim off a bottom section, just that bottom point of my heart. 
So this piece of craft cardstock is going to be the back panel of my card and this flat piece at the bottom will help it stand up. So we need to stick the, the back section of the card to the front section. Let's use some sticky tape for that. I want a really strong adhesive so I'm going to use my sticky tape. And I've trimmed off the bit where it overlaps. Give it a good rub down, make sure it's nice and secure. And we'll stick this the top heart, which we haven't cut in any way. We will stick that right on top of here. Like this. Now I have my card, we've got the crease at the back, you can see it opens up and you have that little flat piece to stand up your card. Now for the next step I want this white piece of card to have a little texture so I'm going to use these Swiss Dots embossing folders from Cuddlebug and I'll run that through the machine. And I'll also grab this teal piece of card with the sending die from Simon Says Stan to cut out that piece too. So here's my background. That lovely textured heart will go right on top here. And I'm going to stick it onto the craft with some foam adhesive. So I'm using some circular foam pads, but you could use any kind. I'm sticking that right in the middle. Now what I'm taking is some crochet thread. It's and I love this, I think it gives a really nice look to the card and it adds extra texture. And I'm taking a length of the thread and I'm going to simply lay it on or drop it on in little swirls. And I'm using some Ranger Multi Matte Medium. Sorry, it's just off screen at the moment. Um, and I'm also using this little green tool which has a piece of foam at the top to pick up some of the glue and help put a little dollop of the glue onto the, the card and encapsulate the thread. This green stick is was a trick that was shared by Jennifer McGuire and it's actually a eyelash applicator, which I got off eBay. And you can wipe the, the nib and use it a couple of times before you have to chuck it away. So now I'm ready to add on the, the greeting and with this sending die, there's lots of little pieces of the inside of the, the words you can see here in the D and the G. So I'm using a piercing tool to push them out. I'm going to stick that on once again using the same technique with a little bit of Ranger Matte Medium and this false eyelash applicator glue stick thing. I'm adding just little dots on the back of my die cut and we'll position it right here. And what I will do is put an acrylic block over the top to have a little bit of weight, a little bit of pressure and uh, hopefully that will stick well. And I'll leave that to dry for five or ten minutes, it doesn't take very long. Now I want a little extra grading on the bottom and I'm just going to use the, the back of the teal card that I inked up to use this white section and I've stamped lots of love. I'm going to trim that top and bottom so I create a nice thin strip with the grating in the middle. And I want to mount it with some, mount it on top of some of that craft coloured cardstock. So I'm using my scraps here. I'm just going to use my scissors to create a fish tail on either side of the white piece of card. And I snip down the middle and then snip in to make a create a triangle from either corner. And I'm using some really thin tape to stick it on top of that craft piece of cardstock, which is just a little bit thicker, a little bit taller, I should say, than the white. 
Now this is going to go right on top of um, the white heart, just underneath the word sending, but I want to raise it up with some foam tape. And I think I want the G to go on top of the little flag. So I'll use my scissors to pick it up. Once again, I'll put a little weight on it so that it dries nice and secure. Now my card has dried and I've actually made two of these cards just slightly different gratings on them. And I'm going to be sending them to some of my friends at work that work in different uh, locations. Just a little hello to say that we're thinking of them. I thought they're really cute. And I really like the way that with the little cut at the back of the heart, the notch cut out, you can actually stand them up like this. Thank you for joining me today and a reminder that we have a giveaway happening to celebrate 1,500 YouTube subscribers. So hop on over to Hungry Heavy Crafts for more details on how to win.